channel Karina Star Tarot. Today I will be doing a reading for the star sign Aries. Please bear in mind that this is a general love reading so take what resonates for you and leave what does not. Please don't forget to hit the like button and share this video and also please subscribe to my channel. It's free to subscribe and if you'd like to donate to this channel the, all the links are in the description below. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a private reading from me, as I am doing private readings at the moment, uh, just click on the link below this description and fill in a form provided. Thank you. So let's see what's in store love-wise for Aries in February 2020. So I've already pre-shuffled the cards, but I'll shuffle them again for you on camera. And I'm using the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck. Please bear in mind I'll be reading the energy from the cards, so I could be picking up on your energy, your partner's energy. For a, mem a member of your family's energy or a friend's energy and cross watchers are welcome to join this reading I'm also going to select a couple of cards from the Nature's Whisper Oracle deck beautiful deck and again, I've already pre-shuffled these cards, but I'll shuffle them again for you on camera. Another shuffle. Finally, I'm going to select two cards from the Romance Angels, and again, I've already pre shuffled the deck, but I'll shuffle it for you again on camera. Let's begin your reading, Aries. Let's find out what's in store for you love-wise in February 2020. So we're starting off with the Manger Arcana card, the High Priestess. So with the High Priestess, uh, you are very much in your power regarding your intuition. Your intuition is high very high at the moment and this is also about having self-awareness and perceptive skills and a good inner voice that you listen to um or that you it might mean you know it might speak of you needing to listen more to your inner voice to trust your inner voice but you are very good at working and figuring people out you know you you can you can tell whether someone is being deceitful or whether someone's being truthful you're you're very much empathic in in a sense you know you you're very good at reading people Then we have the Page of Swords. This is air energy, so you could be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. Um, 
and this is someone coming in with perhaps so and speaking the truth to you you know perhaps it's you that's uh, felt the need to speak your truth you know tell tell someone what's on your mind be you know and perhaps you're being blunt about it you know not not it could be the other person you know that's that's coming in and um telling you a few things um you know it can work either way this this card you know it could either be you or both of you speaking your truth to each other s talking things out communicating you know maybe maybe there have been um back and forth emails you know and you both had harsh words towards each other it could be a new person coming in also this could speak of someone new someone you know a start of a new relationship someone saying that they like you but it might be a bit immature this energy next we have the five of swords air energy so you could be dealing with aquarius gemini or libra this is you with the five of swords you know you've decided you want to put those swords down you've had enough of the arguments the bickering the backstabbing the accusations you know the back and forth um bad sort of bad comments you know that you you know there might have been a, a few things said that you know might have been pretty hurtful you know on both sides you know both of you might have engaged in you know tit for tat kind of quarrels and arguments but you you decided you've had enough and you're laying your swords down you know you are you are you're you know you, you're not a type of person who won't stick up for yourself you're ready to stick up for yourself no matter what but you know there comes a point where you just think enough is enough and you want to put your swords down you want to end to all the bickering the fighting the disagreements you just want to move on really next we have the two of pentacles so obviously you haven't been feeling very happy you know um in february you're going to sort of be thinking to yourself you know uh, very much you know analyzing uh, looking looking at things that have occurred you know things that have been said you know and and you feel like there has been a very big discrepancy in your relationship a huge imbalance you know that it's all really been one-sided you know you don't feel like you've been getting the love and attention that you should be getting like what you've been putting in you don't feel like you've been getting back you know and you're not happy with it and you know perhaps that was the reason why you know perhaps harsh words have been necessary you know that you needed to sort of speak your truth you know and tell this person you know what you think of the way you've been treated you know next we have the seven of pentacles so you could be dealing with earth energy so capricorn taurus or virgo so you feel like you've worked exceptionally hard within this relationship you have put in everything you could have within this relationship all your time and effort you know you've really invested in this relationship you know you've invested your heart your emotions you've invested yourself physically mentally and emotionally and you know you thought that maybe all the hard work was worth it you know that, that this would lead to some sort of steady stability within the relationship you know you you f you thought there might be potential you know that, that, that this was going somewhere that's that's why you worked really hard within this relationship next we have a major arcana card the emperor so you know with the emperor 
it, it's all about authority and leadership um it could be uh you know you that you've you found it necessary to be stern you know and take control of the situations both emotionally and mentally you know very much in your power you know you you're not very pleased about the way you've been treated and um you know anyone that crosses you you know is is going to get the full brunt you know or the full force of of you know um of of what you think of the situation you know you're not going to you're not going to sit down quietly and just accept you know you 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 can be by nature very upfront and very fiery type of person um you know uh sometimes it can be a bit too much for someone to take but you know if you feel like you haven't really been treated right then you're going to say something and with good reason by the looks of things because it might be that you know things are being kept from you there are secrets you know, uh, someone's not perhaps playing fair with you or treating you fairly. And that that is, you know, uh, things might have been hidden from you, um, you know, and, and perhaps you feel the need, you know, to stand up for yourself, stay in, in be in your power and, and um, you know, tell this person what you think, you know. It, it, it could be that you know in February you know if whatever's been hidden from you that you know you you do find out a truth you, of things you know what's been happening what this person has been has done to you you know and and subconsciously you know you you might know the truth but it could be a case that you're afraid to face the truth of the matter regarding the state of your relationship you know and you know sometimes this card can also be about um patterns occurring you know within a relationship that are not necessarily good for either one of you you know it could be there could be very to very toxic kind of patterns that are repeating themselves um so yeah you could be finding out some truth some secrets next we have four of pentacles earth energy so you could be dealing with capricorn virgo taurus so yeah so you you do feel like definitely like you've been treated unfairly this person has perhaps not been very yeah well isn't he or she has not been very fair in the way they've treated you it, there's been an imbalance and this person's been holding that pentacle close, very close to the chest they've perhaps been selfish um not inclined to share perhaps they've been very um slow in coming forward you know with um emotion you know offering any kind of emotional sort of support you know being there for you and um perhaps you've been doing all the running you know um and and putting all the work in but you haven't been getting it back and this person's quite stubborn and um perhaps perhaps also that it could be that you know maybe they don't know how to express themselves you know as easily as perhaps you do you know perhaps they some people are, are not really good at you know sharing their emotions you know they're afraid to you know or they confuse themselves, you know, they that they can't vocalise, you know, what they think. But perhaps this person is intentionally holding back from you and playing these games with you because they're very selfish and self-absorbed and very much into, you know, just all about themselves and what, what you know, what's what's good for them. And, you know, at the end of the day, um, a relationship is all about give and take, you know, equal balance on either side so let's see what this card says so 
we have the Queen of Wands fire energies. It could be dealing with Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So this is you very much in your power. You, like I said, you, you have very high intuition. You have a very good sense of people. You know, you can, you can figure people out quite easily. You are a very caring and loyal and giving person and um, very creative and and you've got a zest for life you know you're very inspirational and you know you're very much in your power and you're not you know you're not afraid to speak your truth and you know you expect only 100 percent. you expect to give what you give you should get back, you know, that there should be equal and balanced within a relationship, you know, and so you're in your power and, and you speak your truth and you say, and if you're unhappy about the situation, you won't hesitate to speak and, you know, speak of your concerns within the relationship. So, let's see what nature's whispers has to offer to the readings. So, you have 36 intuition, which I think is, is quite an appropriate card to get, really. Intuition. I mean, this is all about knowing what is good for you and what will work for you, you know, um, and and um, trusting that inner voice, you know. And like I said, you, you're, you're very good at sussing people out. You know people. Your intuition is very high. So, you know, you, 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 you have a lot of endurance, you know, focus. You can, you can take, only take, you can take something for a certain amount of time, but you won't, you won't stand for being treated wrong. You know, you will, you will speak up, you know, you're a hard worker, you're forward thinking. And, you know, you've got a good inner voice guiding you, you know, like I said, you, have lots of wisdom and you know people very well and um you know so trust trust that intuition you know it will guide you and help you find clarity listen to your inner voice this is a beautiful card isn't it very beautiful so next card from nature's whispers is number one make a wish so with number one it's it's all about setting clear intentions and, um, you know, stating clearly what you want, you know. So perhaps you are telling this person, you know, what you want and what you expect from this relationship. But it's all about having wishes and hopes, you know, like what, what, what you know, start wishing and hoping and you know what what do you want you know asking yourself what well, what do you want anything is possible you know like i said you you have a lot of inspiration there's a lot of creativity you know a high a real zest for life you know you can go out and get what you want all you've got to do is make make a wish and this card is suggesting for you that anything is possible so you know, whatever the outcome of this situation, your personal situation, your personal outcome is possibly and potentially going to be a positive one for you. So stay on the right path. Do what do. Keep doing what you're doing. Listen to your intuition. It will guide you. So let's see what the romance angels say. All right. Love yourself first. You have says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and indeed it does the more the more you put yourself first and stop stop wasting your time and energy on things that don't serve your greater good you know stop wasting your energy and time on people that are that are possibly keeping secrets from you using you you know, and not putting in the time and not investing in you or putting you first. It's time to put yourself first and stop worrying about the needs of others, of, especially of those that are very selfish and not giving back, you know. And, um, you know, if you have self-respect and you love yourself, 
you know that makes you more attractive to other people they will see that and appreciate and value that with that characteristic within you so love yourself first so the next romance angel says you deserve love how appropriate and of course you do you deserve love you are lovable and absolutely you've got so much going for you you've got a high intuition you can read people you know people and you know your value and you know your self-worth and you know that you are worth more than how you're being treated and you know that you know so you probably feel the need to you know go out there and you know get what you want for yourself and to get rid of things and people that don't serve you that are no good that don't you know you have desires and goals and perhaps these people are just holding keeping you down or trying to trying to um you know ruin that for you because they have issues that they can't you know they can't resolve you know and 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 also you know it, it it might be the case that you know if secrets are being kept from you so you deserve love and i'm sure you will find the right person out there that's got time for you that will love you that will see you as a very special person but love yourself first that's most important love yourself first in order to be loved you need to love yourself first and that you've got you know so have your self-worth so Aries that was your reading I hope you enjoyed it so before you go I just want to say thank you for joining me here on Karina Star Tarot and please don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video also if you're interested in receiving a private reading from me all the links are in the description below this video. It just click on the link. It leads you to a simple form to fill in. You can select the type of reading that you want with me. And finally, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Karina Star Tarot. Remember, it's free to subscribe and I would appreciate your support. Thank you, Aries. And good luck with everything. And I will see you very soon, Aries. Bye.